Welcome to the fifth edition of Detour. Last week, I went on a date in honor of Valentine's Day, and today I'm taking you, dear viewer, on a tour of the associated newspapers of Ceylon Limited, also known as Lake House, in honor of the 131st anniversary of its founder's birth. D.R. Wijewardena, the founder, bought Dinamina, a Sinhala paper, in 1914, and acquired the Ceylonese, which he then renamed the Ceylon Daily News in 1918. He then bought many other papers, including Tinakaran, and founded the ANCL company in 1926. In 1929, he moved his burgeoning media empire into the Lake House building, which is in the fort. That's enough history. I thought it would be interesting to take you through the process by which newspapers are made each and every day here at Lake House. Of course, there is no paper without journalists, so my first stop is at my very own publication, The Daily News. There are over 20 journalists here, and it's up to us to report on the island's daily happenings and events. During the day, many journalists go out and about chasing stories, so things are kind of slow right now. The editors and features writers stick around the most. My next stop is Dinamina. I chatted with news editor Tichandra Sekera, who said things are going pretty smoothly today. Uh, there's not too much to report on as of now, he said and he seemed somewhat relieved by the lack of craziness. Again, there is no paper without advertisements, so I went down to our ad department to find out exactly what the process of buying an ad is like. Let me tell you that ads are by no means cheap. And if you want to put an ad in a paper here, you have to submit it two days before you want it to go in the paper. There are even translators available so that ads can run in each of the three languages. And after the news and ads are determined, it's up to the layout department to put the paper together. At Lake House, we have more than 30 layout experts who do this every day, putting in serious hours staring at their screens. It's a seriously tiring job, as every story, picture, and ad has to be just so. When the layout is finished, the pages are sent to the CTP, or Computer to Plate Machine. These giant machines take a computer image and basically scan a copy of it onto a light-sensitive aluminum plate. This is a very sensitive process, and the CTP room is kept as clean as a surgical theater. The video team and I had to take our shoes off and avoid touching the plates. These guys also work very hard, often staying up until 4 in the morning. Once the plates are prepared, they are taken down to one of the three printing presses we have. The printers then make small holes in the plates before fixing them into the presses. Once the plates are installed, printing can start. The presses use four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and the printing technicians adjust the color ratios and balance after the press has started. This Goss Magnum is only a couple of months old, and it can print over 25,000 newspapers per hour. But it takes a lot of work and experience to run this machine, as evidenced by the group of 10 men tasked with overseeing the press. The press is certainly fast, but it's also noisy and very hot. The workers don't speak to each other so much as bang metal on metal in order to get each other's attention. Press creates a good amount of heat, so being around it makes you sweaty and pretty tired. Not an easy job. Once the papers have been printed, they are wheeled up to the dispatch room, a pretty steamy, humid place where an army of guys, sometimes shirtless, organize the papers into easy-to-handle parcels, usually consisting of 25 papers per. They count the papers, stack them, and then bring them to the machine that bundles them all together. After being bundled, they are sent down the slide to the transport sector. The transport guys fill their trucks to the brim with the papers before setting off into the night to deliver them. These trucks go all over the island. Some go all the way north to Jaffna and east to Kataragama, leaving papers for all to read. It's a 24-hour process to make a newspaper, so it should come as no surprise that Lake House is always open and buzzing along, even at 5 in the morning. While the lorries are going to transport papers, the web department is busy putting the papers online, and the new media department is making programs and uploading news to Dina Mina, Tina Karan, and the Daily News online. No wonder it takes over 1,500 people to run this place. 